While fifth generation fighter jets inherently come with higher unit costs, maintenance costs and upgrades, due to their cutting edge technology and capabilities, India is aiming to achieve a life cycle cost that is 60% less than any other comparable fifth generation fighter jet. Over 80% of the content in the AMCA will be domestically manufactured, including the engines, leading to cost savings in the long run. The designers are taking into account the inclusion of expensive and sophisticated equipment that drives up the per unit cost, however they are optimistic that the initial unit cost will stabilize once major orders for the AMCA Mark II are finalized around 2035. The very short-range air defense system developed indigenously in collaboration with various DRDO laboratories and Indian industry partners is all set to enter limited-scale production. Adani Defense has been chosen as the production partner for the missile system, which is powered by a dual-thrust solid motor, and is designed to efficiently track and engage low-altitude aerial threats at 6 km. Bharat Dynamics Limited has handed over the first radio frequency seeker of Akash Next Generation Weapon System to the DRDO, that has been produced at its newly commissioned state-of-the-art seeker facility center in Hyderabad. The Akash NG features two pulse solid rocket motor, that provides a strike range of 30 km against highly maneuverable fighter jets and low radar cross-section aerial threats. Belgian firm Sky Hero has established a manufacturing facility in Mumbai under its local subsidiary Sky Hero India, and this Indian facility will license produce the Loki Mark II unmanned aerial vehicle, and the Sijin Mark I unmanned ground vehicle. The Loki Mark II is a small tactical quadcopter specifically designed to operate in confined spaces in low light conditions with limited GPS signals and high obstacles, while the Sijin Mark I is compact hand throwable ground vehicle, featuring embedded inertial motion sensors and wide angle low light cameras at the front and rear, for reliable and comprehensive surveillance. The Kerala Minerals and Metals Limited has secured a prestigious contract worth 105 crore rupees from the Indian Navy for the supply of 650 tons of titanium sponge that is scheduled to be delivered over a span of five years. Titanium sponge has exceptional properties such as high strength, low density, and excellent corrosion resistance, making it an ideal material for manufacturing nuclear reactors of nuclear attack submarines. National Aerospace Laboratories has unveiled a lightweight all-electric UAV known as Q-Plane, that features vertical takeoff and landing capability. It is designed for autonomous flight, and has a range of 30 km and endurance of up to 70 minutes. The Indian Navy will send two frontline destroyers P-8 INT submarine aircraft and a submarine for the Malabar 2023 multi-nation naval exercise, that will be conducted from 11th August to 22nd August, that will feature a number of complex drills involving several frontline warships and other assets of United States in the Australia and Japan.